Now shifting focus, Africa's biggest mobile phone operator, MTN Group, has promised to pay a dividend in 2017, despite reporting a $108 million loss. Now the announcement sent its shares up more than 10%, with the chairman saying that the losses would not be repeated and promising to keep dividends flowing. MTN was hit by a regulatory fine in Nigeria that wiped about $770 million from its 2016 earnings, as well as unfavorable currency moves. Now, MTN is held by many investors for its dividends and will be paying 700 rand cents per share this year after declaring a similar amount for 2016. Without one-off and non-operating items, which include about 6 billion rand in forex losses, MTN would have managed a profit, albeit 14% lower than 2016's earnings. Now, Sumitra Naidu joins us in Johannesburg with more on these numbers. Sumitra, welcome to the show. Now, it has been a tough year for MTN. Uh, it says this is, this is its first annual loss uh, in two decades. What is your take on those numbers? Well, yes, Uche, this will not only go down as the first loss in over 20 years for the company, but also the biggest loss, as you said, $108 million. And of course, it's based on the likelihood that MTN will recover in future results. And it does look like the mobile giant is turning the corner. Last year, the group uh, reported some sterling results. These results were severely dented by the $1.1 billion fine MTN agreed to pay Nigeria for allowing unregistered SIM cards. Now, that really brought the numbers down but subscriber numbers were up 3.3 percent that's uh, over seven and a half million new subscribers bringing its overall subscriber base to 240 million odd customers which is pretty impressive <coughs> considering the reputational damage it suffered during that illegal battle with Nigeria. Revenue lifted to $11.3 billion, and there was also a strong gain in data revenue, close to a 17% increase compared to the last year. MTN also capped its dividend payout, and of course, market was very pleased with the result. Despite the loss, shares gained over 10% on the JSE today. Mm. Well, Sumitra, looking forward, we know this month we'll see a new management uh, team taking over the reins. Uh, Rob Shutter will become the company's new CEO. How does the market uh, feel about uh, this new team coming up on board and, of course, its ability uh, to take MTN into a new growth phase? Well, the market seems to be very comfortable with the new appointment. And of course, that appointment, uh, appointment was announced last year in June. And it was outgoing chairman Fatuma Nshleko that wanted Mr. Shitter. If you remember, Safiso Dabenga resigned following the fallout with Nigeria. Now, Mr. Nshleko, the former CEO, was called back to the company to restore some stability at the mobile operator. And that really helped to calm the markets and restore a bit of confidence. So the new appointment is being welcomed thus far. Mr. Schitter also comes with um, a strong track record, having headed up Vodafone in Europe. And prior to that, he worked in the banking industry here in South Africa. And that's apparently going to be a focus area for him and the group as it continues with a mobile financial services as part of its business strategy. Mm. Now, Sumitra, the company also did launch a new transformation strategy. It's calling it Ignite. Uh, it's basically their turnaround strategy going forward. Forward. What are your thoughts on this new plan and its potential effectiveness? Well, it's still fairly new, but a good move to repair reputational damage after the Nigeria dispute. But the strategy uh, that's being rolled out in South Africa and Nigeria is also aimed at making the company more efficient, uh, improving customer service and overall uh, lifting financial performance. It's become very important as part of the company's overall turn uh, turnaround strategy. And analysts are seeing merit in the moves to change MTN, its vision and the values of and as an organization. Mm, well, many thanks, Sumitra, for those insights. Sumitra Naidu joining us there in Johannesburg.